Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you how to send post JSON data using curl. So let's get started. So I have already created one video on how to send post data into curl. So today I will show you how to send JSON data. So I'll be continuing from there. If you want to see how to send normal post data, then you can go and watch my previous video. I'll be sharing the link in the description. So let me give you a quick summary. So firstly, I have created my data for post that is data array. Then after that, I have initialized curl session with curl in it. Then third is options for curl like URL post and post fields, but all are the post fields we are going to send that is our data that I have created. After that return transfer that I need to get the response from the URL and I, I want to hold that into a variable. After that execute that curl and uh, hold into a result variable then after that last is closing the curl session with curl close. Last I have printed my result and the URL I'm hitting in that I have only just printed my post data. So in this video I'm showing you how to send JSON data. So I'm going to convert this post data into a JSON format with JSON and code and now I'm going to send this post data into my post field. So now I'm sending JSON data into my post fields. So now next step is that I need to tell my server that what kind of data I am sending. So here I am sending JSON data. So for that I need to add one header in my request that will tell my server that JSON data is coming and you need to accept a JSON data. Now here I need to add one HTTP header inside that write array content type and that will be application slash JSON data. So now let's go and check in browser refresh. So now you can see array is coming blank as I have just printed post there. Now our data is not coming in post as I'm sending JSON data. So we will need to get it from our PHP input file. Now as JSON data will be coming as row input. So that's why we need to get it from PHP input file. So to get the content of file right file gets content. And inside that write PHP input. Now hold this into a variable, let's say form data. And now I need to decode it because I have sent it from like JSON and code. So here I'm going to decode that JSON. So write JSON decode and hold that into a variable that is let's say final data. And now I'm going to print final data. Now let's check refresh. Now you can see our data is coming that we have defined. Now data is in object format. So that's how you can send post JSON data in curl. You just need to do two things. First one is JSON and code your data and then add one header that is content type application JSON into your curl request. These two things you need to do. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.